नमस्ते एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो आई एम सपना राणा रावत एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर टू योगिक स्थूल क्रियास सो स्थूल क्रिया इज फॉर स्थूल बॉडी स्थूल बॉडी इज योर फिजिकल बॉडी सो बेसिकली स्थूल क्रियास बेसिकली वी प्रैक्टिस फॉर द फिजिकल बॉडी द हेल्थ एंड द नरिशमेंट ऑफ द फिजिकल बॉडी फॉर द फर्स्ट क्रिया इज सर्वांग पुष्टि फॉर सर्वांग पुष्टि ओपन योर लेग्स वाइड एंड कंफर्टेबल टोस पॉइंटिंग आउटवर्ड push your heels down to get a good grip on the mat clench your fist thumb goes in fold it with the four fingers take your arms up left hand will be in front right hand back pull your arms up as you inhale twist back retaining the breath inside bend down on the left side switch your arms inhale up twist back Exhale down on the right side. Switch arms. Inhale up. Twist back. Exhale on the left. Switch arms. Inhale up. Twist back. Exhale down. Switch arms. Go on. Inhale up. Twist back. Exhale down. Switch arms. Continue doing this. Here there are few important points to remember. balance well with your feet inhalation happens when you move your body up while twisting you are retaining the breath inside and when when you are bending down on one side you are exhaling and you are switching your arms every time you are going to i mean before getting up from the side keep doing it and slowly start increasing the pace as you get comfortable with the movement keep your eyes open throughout the movement practice this for at least 10 to 20 times depending on your comfort level since we started from the left side if you remember we will end this kriya on the right side so this is my last round i am bending on the left inhale up twist back exhale on the right switch hands inhale up in the center and release bring your feet together and relax sarva ang pushti सर्वांग पुष्टि एज द नेम सजेस्ट दिस क्रिया हेल्प्स इन द नरिशमेंट ऑफ द होल बॉडी नरिशमेंट ऑफ द होल बॉडी फ्रॉम द टॉप ऑफ द हेड टू द टिप ऑफ योर टोज इफ यू हैव एक्सैक्टली प्रैक्टिस द वे आई हैव डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटेड एंड यू हैव टेकन केयर ऑफ एवरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द क्रिया as soon as you finish you will feel instant energy in the whole body the whole body will feel lighter and if you are practicing this kriya regularly then you, the whole body will become very flexible within a very short period of time so this brings a uh, great flexibility to the body this also improves in the height so people who want to increase their height should practice this kriya regularly this reduces the extra body fat if you have any waist related issue doesn't matter how old the issue is that can be fixed with the regular practice of sarvanga pushti 
This also improves your breathing capacity. It improves your lung, lung functioning also. Also, with the regular practice of Sarvanga Pushti, the whole face will become very vibrant. There will be natural glow to the face. So, all the ladies pay attention to it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about Sarvanga Pushti. One Kriya, lot of health benefits. So, do bring it in your daily routine. Practice it 2-3 to three minutes every day to gain the amazing benefits of this whole body yogi kriya. Now let's move on to the next kriya, Injindor. Injindor. Understand the position of this kriya. So clench your fist, thumb goes in folded with the four fingers. Here one arm will be extended forward, other arm will be uh, maintained close to the chest. This is the position of the arms. Now understand the position of the legs. So this is the position. So whichever arm is extended forward, the leg on the same side should be on the floor. And whichever side is folded back, this leg on the same side will also be folding back. When you fold your leg back, the idea is to hit the buttocks with the heel. So this is the position of arms and legs. Now understand the breathing pattern. Every time you extend your arm forward, you have to exhale. And focus on the exhalation only because inhalation happens on its own. So just remember every time you extend your arms forward, you have to exhale. And as the arms move forward, the leg on the same side should be on the floor and the opposite leg will be folding back. So with these instructions in our head, let's begin engine door now. Exit, 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 exit. Once you get the movement right, start running forward and backward on your mat. Take small steps. Now as I told you, every time you move your leg back, you basically try to hit your butters with the heel. Now let me show you whether I am hitting my butters or not. Okay, let me freeze. See, I am hitting my butters with the right heel. So that is the intention. Every time you are moving your heels, uh, leg back, try to hit your butters with the heel. As you get comfortable with the movement, start increasing the pace. Engine door. Running like an engine with the chuk chuk sound. Which appears to be similar to the steam engine sound. That is why it is known as engine door. Running like an engine, sinking your breath with the body movement. Keep running forward and backward. If suppose moving forward and backward is difficult, you are not able to manage the movement uh, while you know sinking the breath in that manner, then you can also run staying in the same position. When you are starting engine door, start with only one minute and then slowly start increasing the pace and the time, yes. Slowly take it to five minutes. Once you are done, slowly release and relax. Remember, do not lie down in Shavasana immediately after engine door. Just relax your body first and then after some time you can relax in Shavasana. This is another exceptional Kriya in yoga. There is no other Kriya asana or any practice which is, you know, which can be compared with the benefits uh, with which, which is provided by the engine door. This is pure magic. Engine door. 
as you saw it is a run it is yogic cardio why it is magical 5 minutes of engine dod if you practice regularly it will give you the stamina for running up to 25 miles so you can imagine the impact of this kriya on the body and when i'm i'm not just saying that i have uh, talked about it in another video also i have personally validated this when i was participating in my marathon in 2015 i have used this kriya i have practiced it regularly and without any issues i was able to complete my marathon in 2015 and that was the first marathon ever i participated it was for 21.1 miles so this is actually true true for me you can validate it yourself so yes so this is magical kriya yogi cardio the time that you spend in the gym running in treadmill you can cut that time and practice this yogi kriya only for 3 to 4 uh, if not 3 to 4 minutes start just with 1 minute and just look at the impact of this kriya on your body this is a full body movement so again it works from the top of the head to the tip of your toes it amazingly improves the stamina and strength of the body it brings a natural grace to the whole body your whole personality changes if you are practicing this uh, engine dod with uh, another name of engine dod is hriday gati so the whole the personality of the person changes it brings a natural grace to the body a natural glow to the face and the overall structure of the body it improves it becomes very pleasing to the eyes it improves the functioning of the lungs it broadens your shoulders improves the or expands the chest basically it helps you reduce your extra body fat people who are trying hard to reduce fat are depressed because of obesity must include this kriya in their daily life it can work wonders for you on the other hand if you are trying to gain fat in that case also this kriya helps because this kriya basically brings you to your basic body fat whatever is needed as per the body type it will take you there so if you see it helps in attaining and maintaining good health health of the physical body health in every aspect the only thing is if you are heart patient if you have bp issue if you have gone through recent surgery then avoid this kriya that's all about engine dod or hriday gati make use of this kriya i hope you found this session helpful stay healthy namaste